Okay, as you can see here, we have a spotlight. It's a halogen spotlight. It's very bright, as you can see. Let me press the button here. Super bright. Um, it's a million candlelight brightness. It uses a rechargeable uh, sealed acid lead battery inside, about 17 to 20 watt of power. The only problem with this is, of course, if you keep pressing this button here, it will only last maybe about 15 to 20 minutes of light. However, if I was to exchange this uh, with an LED light, this is a $2 LED light I bought from a dollar store, and I replace it here, I probably have, you know, a light that will last me for tens of, of hours, right? The reason I know this is compatible, if I can just solder into here, is because if you look at the back here, it uses four AA battery, and each battery is AA battery, alkaline battery, is 1.5 um, volt. And if you time that by four, that's six volt. So this is actually a six volt uh, battery system LED light. So if I can replace this LED light and put it here, what we have now is a very good LED light that runs on a rechargeable sealed lead acid battery. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'll show you how to do it very quickly. Let's get started. Okay, so you need to know which one is your positive or negative terminal. In the battery, it said, it actually tell you this is negative terminal, and the other side must be the positive terminal, which is one. Remember, this, this was originally from the LED light that was um, soldered in. It came from the battery itself, so you want to actually uh, unsolder or pull it out from this uh, battery pack. Um, right now it can hold uh, 6 volt but I'm going to use this for other projects. Okay, I'm going to keep that and put that away somewhere. So we have these two toner, negative and positive. Okay, so what we want to do is look for in the uh, rechargeable spotlight here, find where is the positive terminal and there is a positive. I see the red um, wire in here and then this one is the black wire which is the um, negative terminal so let's give that a try so here's negative okay, you're gonna... now you want to test it out first to make sure that this works okay before you solder anything in I usually do that mm -hmm. and then here Oop, be careful, don't let it touch each other, it will, sh it will short circuit the system. Okay. Alright, let's get it out of the way. Okay, there's a, also a switcher in here, we can take that out. Now, I could actually rewire this switcher and place it here if I wanted to install, for example, a USB, but I don't think I would do that. Okay, so let's Okay, so we're just gonna not solder in yet. We're just gonna wire it just to make sure it works. It's a positive and negative terminal. And I'm gonna press the button here. Normally, this is to turn on and off. Oh, it works perfectly. You see that? <laughs> awesome! We're able to hook up a cheap $2 LED light, this one here, to a halogen uh, spotlight which is now converted to LED light. Now make sure as long as it's 6 volt and this is a 6 volt LED light it works perfectly and it's charged um, new through AC adapter here it comes with it uh, that comes with this uh, 9 volt adapter and it can charge this uh, lead sealed battery right through the end here so I'm going to show you right there hook it that up and charge it and uh, yeah, it should. There we go. See, perfect. And what I could do now is just um, you know solder it in, and we're done. That's simple. Now I just have an LED light. Now that's uh, rechargeable using sealed lead acid battery. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so we're almost done. All we have to do is I'm gonna remove this switcher because I really don't really need it. Um, I'm going to use it for other parts and I'm going to connect the positive terminal directly to the positive terminal of the battery. Okay, so we're going to move, let me see, this wire here 
and we are gonna take this out. Let's cut that out. <laughs> Okay, there, and then we are going to put it there. Okay, okay, let's test it one more time. Okay, here's a button, and perfect. There we go. The switch here, perfect. <laughs> Right. Okay, let's solder it in. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to put a black tape around it to insulate it. Wait, let it cool down for a bit. Okay, so I solder it, the wire in. Now, the only thing is, this thing does not fit the um, actual glass. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hot glue it like that okay so try to put it right in the center hot glue it and then I'm gonna cover it with its original uh, casing all right let's do that let's hot glue this thing okay so I hot glue the um, light the LED light onto the glass so it's gonna stick like that and is able to hold up to its casing so something like that okay okay so the next step is to put in the plastic casing to press the glass onto this plastic casing so the purpose of that is to prevent the water from getting into the spotlight okay so it's pretty well designed just uh, make sure I can clip it in and looks okay it worked pretty good press the button and presto Mm. Now just screw it all everything in. Just screw everything back. Tighten everything as the original. Okay, so here's the original uh, halogen lamp light, six volt, volt, using six volt battery. It has about 17 to 20 watt of power in there. I convert it into a LED light, uh, spotlight, and look at that! Woohoo! It was a $2 um, LED uh, spotlight running on uh, 4 AA battery, which is 6 volt. I rewired it into this um, halogen uh, rechargeable spotlight. Now it runs on a lead sealed battery and I can be recharged hundreds of times. And it's much brighter. You can see that. Wow. So here's the two. Now the reason why you want to do that is because halogen. Uh, spotlight is bright but it drains the um, the battery quite fast within 20 minutes if you do that and you hold this continuously for 20 minutes it will eventually run out of uh, power whereas with the LED light you can have like this on for a long period of time perhaps 10 times 20 times because it's LED light as you know doesn't use that much power and so maybe perhaps this use only one or two watts an hour. So you think about if there's a you know 17 watt in here, you can think that it may last at least eight hours instead of 20 minutes. Big difference. Awesome. And remember, LED light has a more uh, higher or longer life expectancy. Uh, maybe say one uh, one thousand hour versus ten thousand hours. LED lights. All right, thanks for watching. Educatetube.com. Woohoo!